brand new YouTube series, vlog series here in my personal YouTube channel. I will show you how it is uh, to grow bonsai in a balcony. Uh, it is quite challenging, especially in winter here in southern Scandinavia, in Denmark, but I will show you how my trees survive and thrive in those conditions. The series will be composed of four videos. You can see the evolution of the trees through an entire year. Um, but I'm really, I'm really happy to show you uh, how it is to grow bonsai in a balcony. So first things first, I will show you my Yamadori collection here that I've been working on in the last five years. Uh, this is a couple of birch, birch trees that I have found um, in the middle of Copenhagen, actually, uh, in a abandoned uh, industrial uh, zone, along with my bonsai uh, friends here in Denmark. And they are thriving quite well, as you can see, uh, here at the bonsai balcony. The slab is made with, uh, from uh, one of my bonsai friends here, Jens Christian Benner. So I'm very glad to have it on this slab. The other Yamadori that I've been working on uh, is this oak here. Uh, it has a really good um, trunk. I am very glad that this guy is thriving here at the bonsai balcony. It has put a lot of growth uh, and I will be able to select the branches, cut them off and then work further with it. Another birch here uh, from the same place in Copenhagen. It is thriving well. Uh, another birch here as well. You can see I have made a cut here and then it, uh, it um, just uh, put, pushed a very, 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 very much growth uh, from, from the base of the trunk. I cut them off several times and then it, it just um, pushed new growth from, upper, from the upper um, part of the trunk where I wanted to, to do it. So I'm very glad that it understood this. <laughs> so it is a new one here, uh, another Yamadori here. It is uh, Acer Campestre. A uh, very typical tree from Denmark. You can find it in the woods. And I found this one. And it is, it is really thriving in this little pot. I dig, the, and dig it up um, in, in fall 2020. Yes. I don't know if you can call this Yamadori, but uh, it is a large. I got from one of my bonsai friends here in Denmark and they are really thriving as a bonsai as a bonsai forest here. Another tree I am very glad about is this juniper that I bought from a dealer here. Uh, he, he got it from Japan, Japan and then I, I bought it from him. It is really a good specimen to, to work with and to learn about how to grow and model bonsai. This is another pre-bonsai that I bought from Janik Keegan, a bonsai professional from Belgium at the Trophy 2020. Um, he probably bought it from uh, Per Adil, uh, a Norwegian guy that um, yeah 
make it from a Yamadori tree from Norway, uh, Pinus sylvestris, and I have and I, ha I have another one, a Pinus sylvestris, pine sylvestris pine. But this one I bought it from as a pre bonsai from Martin Nielsen, a bonsai guy from Denmark. Uh, and it's, it is really thriving here uh, in this part. I think it is a very big part for, for it, too much soil, but I will, I will try to get it at least half the, half the much, half much the soil that it is in right now. So, and another tree here I have for my bonsai friend Jonas. Uh, he has been worked on it, making a ten gin, a top gin, and then wire it a little bit with raffia. And it, it has a good base. I, I have planted it here in this pot uh, recently. So, and it is pushing new growth here. Another one I want to show you is uh, this pine here, Mugo pine, uh, that I had from the beginning um, of my bonsai adventure here in the bonsai balcony. It has been on several exhibitions. It has had a, good, a really, really hard time, um, especially in 2020 and the year before because it was dying, it was di dying some branches uh, and then I, I realized that and I put it in this terracotta pot where it, it is, it is th thriving right now. This is another juniper I bought from a bonsai dealer which got it from Japan, grown from a bonsai field uh, I'm really gr glad about it because uh, I have been working on it with Yannick Keegan as a, um, as a bonsai instructor uh, in, here in, the, in Denmark once. Um, then I, I, made a, I, made a, I made a really big cut on, the, on, this, on this branch and I didn't throw it out, I actually put it in soil and this is the result, this one is the result from that branch that was cut off this juniper. Um, I am really glad that it survived and then it put roots and then I will make a new uh, Shohin bonsai from it. I have also some uh, cuttings here that has roots from previous bonsai stylings that I have made and uh, junipers so I am really glad that I, they are thriving here in the bonsai balcony those as, are as well bonsai cuttings with roots the Japanese uh, kanji characters here, here uh, you can see three of them it says ko so en in Japanese it means um, the high-rise garden. Uh, I've made it, you can see also here, Koso in the high-rise garden, because it is at the three, third floor here uh, in my balcony. This one is also uh, a Yamadori tree um, I have picked up from the woods with permission of course. Um, it was a bonsai event where many people attended and dig some trees up. My plan for this one is uh, to make here in May in the mid-May, may make some new nabari out of it. Uh, I can put some spawnum moss at the right at the base of the trunk, and I will make 
a new nabari about it. These are these are also cuttings from bonsai stylings. Uh, these are, are as well yamadoris that I, I'm working on. So I'm really glad that it, that I have these trees because they are outdoor outdoor trees here and they are thriving. Um, country than many people maybe might expect might expect uh, that bonsai are really challenging to work with and to have on a bonsai balcony. Here we have a cell cover, um, a cell cover that had that I, that I have I bought. From one of my bonsai friends that has that has a bonsai a bonsai shop here in in the in the outskirts of Copenhagen. I'm really glad about it because I cut a really fairly amount of roots here in March, uh, and it it is really thriving in this little little shallow pot here. I'm very very glad about it. This one is an azalea. It, it had a really hard time since the last repotting because it um, because I had to really cut up cut out a fairly amount of roots, nearly 50% of the roots because it was in a very, very big pot before. And it is really thriving now, almost a year after that repotting. But you can see in the lower part of, of the trunk, there is a branch sticking out and it doesn't have any flowers. It really takes a lot of energy for the tree to make flowers. And it might be a, a signal that it have it has had a really hard time, but it is thriving right now. That makes me very very glad about that. This balcony is around uh, six uh, square meters uh, big and uh, not so big, but uh, it is enough to host, nevertheless, than. Uh, 30, uh, around 30 trees here in this balcony. This Pinus Mugo is uh, one of the first ones that came to the balcony and uh, I think I have been working on it very well uh, since it, it uh, backbuts a lot um, and it makes a compact crown. The next one is uh, this high uh, Pisea Epis. which is um, a kind of uh, literary uh, styled bonsai. Uh, I have been working on it also from the beginning, uh, five years now, and um, I am very proud of, of the compact uh, uh, tree I have, I have made out of it. Uh, I, have, I have put some wire on it uh, and take it off again, um, but I think I have to wire it again so that it can win. it can make the final re result for this tree. The next one here is a shohin uh, sized um, Japanese white pine uh, from imported from Japan. Uh, I have bought it from a dealer in um, in Holland um, and. Uh, it has had some issues with the with the roots, uh, so that uh, I just I just re repotted it in this terracotta pot. Uh, from one year after this repot, this is the result, uh, and it's it's thriving again. This one is also a juniper imported from Japan. I've been and I'm and I'm working on it every year I've re repotted it in this in this um, 
Japanese training part. And it's thriving as well. Some other trees that I have been imported from uh, Korea, this one. So that were some of my trees uh, that I have. Those were some of my trees. I hope you liked it and see you the next time. Mm -hmm.